A bibliography is uh, the, the references, the sources that you have gotten, in or that you have read about. And so it's, it's very good to identify the list of sources relevant to your topic. And by identifying, you pick the, the article, you need to document the title, the author, the place of publication, publisher, date of publication for each source. My advice to you, which I give also give to my students, I teach research writing, which is one of my very, very uh, um, lovely courses that I really favor, is that uh, I ask them, whenever they read an article, they open a folder on their laptops and store that article. Because you don't want to lose anything that you have read, you found interesting, and in two months you keep on searching for them and you don't find them. So open a folder on your laptop, put in all the articles that uh, uh, have in found interest in your eyes, and, and just store them there. You, 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 you don't know when you're going to use them later on in the process of writing the research. How do you organize your bibliography? By finding patterns in your source material to help you organize the literature review. Uh, for proposal purposes, it's good to put them in alphabetical order. For other purposes that help you in organizing it, can be by historical era, by type of method, or regional, fo I mean there are, it, it, this is relative, it differs from one person to the other, the way you want to organize and uh, your, your bibliography. What is the annotated bibliography? It is, it tells you whether you are moving in the right direction or not. And I, my advice to you it is always to keep your research question in front of you all through the process. Because while getting you, you, uh, you, your, your bibliography, you want to make sure that you are on the right roadmap that you have um, drawn for yourself. The anno annotated bibliography is divided into two parts. The full works cited entry in either APA style, that's for quantitative, or MLA format, that's the qualitative method of research. And I would like you to write down this uh, um, site, the OWL Purdue Writing Center in Indianapolis. It's a very, very resourceful online um, site that has everything about research writing, about rhetorical, uh, ret rhetorical writing in general. All types of writing styles are there. It's very helpful. It also shows you what is the difference between the formatting, APA format versus MLA format. I, I really uh, think it's one of the most brilliant uh, sites that is very user friendly and it's very helpful for all types of students. It's called the OWL Purdue Writing Center. So you start your bibliography by an entry in APA or MLA format having the, the, the author's name the, the year of publication, the place of publication, etc. For each source, while you're reading each source, you have to be a critical reader. Again, like a self-learner, as Yasmin mentioned, we need to, to have a critical eye. And what are the things that we have to pinpoint or, or focus on while reading an article or book? I don't read just kind of, uh, generally, but I have to look at the quality of evidence provided in that article. I have to consider the credibility of the source, whether this source is really credible, uh, valid, has valid results or not. The relevance of the source to others is also important. And we need to consider the usefulness of the source in helping you yourself design and understand your research focus. So evidence is highly important the quality of evidence that the authors have provided, their credibility, the relevance to others, how relevant these authors are to other authors, and usefulness is the last.